Hi friends, today's lesson is for module four, lesson 17. Our learning goal for today says, I can put together parts to find an unknown total to eight. So today we're gonna be having some parts and we're gonna put them together. We're gonna try to figure out what parts put together to make eight. All right, so here we go. Let me show you, for example, I went for a walk this weekend and it was such a beautiful weekend and I was so excited when I saw this big old branch and I was just admiring the leaves when all of a sudden some owls came and rested on the branch. Aren't they so cute? How many owls were there to begin with, friend? Yes, good job, three. One, two, three. Excellent. As I was looking at the owls and trying to talk to them, who, 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 who would show up but some more owls? So I had three, and then how many more showed up, friends? Good, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, and you know, I just could not enjoy these beautiful owls without trying to put it into something connected to math, because you just know I love math. So I thought, hmm, if I could make a number sentence to show the owls on the branch to figure out how many there were in total, I could say three, that's how many I started with, plus five, that's how many more came, equals um, something. I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. So oh, what was that thing we decided we would put down when we're not sure when there's a mystery number or something that's unknown? Oh, you're right, a box. All right, so my number sentence looked like this. Three plus five equals something. Because I had three owls, then five more came, so that's plus five. And then now there are so many owls on that branch. That's my mystery number. Friend, how could I figure out what three plus five is? Ooh, somebody noticed a five group. Yeah, there is a five group right there. So I could just say five and then count on the other ones, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So I saw eight beautiful owls. And look, it wasn't it much more enjoyable than we put it into a number sentence? <laughs> I thought so. All right. So I figured this out, and one of my other friends did too, by finding the five group and counting on. How else could I figure out? How else could I add three plus five? Yeah, I could say three and count on five. five three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Or I could just count them all one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. As long as my picture matches my number sentence, I can count all the different parts to get to eight. Excellent. That was so good. Well, I, I walked away from the owls and I was walking back to my backyard and all of a sudden I saw this beautiful dog house and out came four dogs. Oh my goodness. Look at, they're so cute. I just want to cuddle them. And I was just talking to them when all of a sudden more dogs showed up. There were four more. And I'm like, oh my goodness, puppies, what are you doing to me? You're so cute. And of course, I saw these four dogs and then four more dogs. And I just, of course, wanted to figure out how many dogs there were in all. But I just was not sure. So I thought, you know, I'm going to write down a number sentence. So I went and grabbed a, a piece of paper and a pencil, but... You know what, can you help me? Can you press pause and go get a dry erase board and a marker? Because I'm going to have you help me figure out um, how many dogs I saw. Okay, do you have your good materials? Excellent. If not, press pause while you grab them, then press play. Okay, so if I'm going to start my number sentence, what should I start with, friend? Yeah, I should start with one of the parts. I'm going to start with the part that I saw first. So this is the first group of dogs that I saw. What number would I write down? Excellent. Write that number on your board. There we go. Four. All right. So we had four dogs and then more came. So if more are coming, we're going to go ahead and put a plus. So go ahead and write plus on your board. Four plus, hmm. What's the other number we'll write down in our number sentence? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Four. Four plus four. Because look at one, two, three, four. Four more came. Excellent. I like that our number sentence is matching our picture so beautifully. We're doing a nice job staying organized. 
Okay, so we have 4 plus 4 equals, oh, what's that thing we put when we're not sure if there's an unknown number or a mystery number? Yes, thank you, a box. Go ahead and put that good box on your board. All right, 4 plus 4 equals something. I don't know. Can you press pause and figure it out? Fill in the answer into your box and then press play to check yourself. Okay, for this one, what I did is I used my fingers, my counting sticks. On one hand, I put four. On the other hand, I put four. And I slid my hands together and I counted them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got my answer eight. I could have also said four, five, six, seven, eight, or I could have counted them all individually in my picture. That's why we draw a picture, so they match our number sentences and help us to figure out the answer. Did you get eight, friend? Oh, I love it. Did you use one of the strategies I used, or did you do something else? Ooh, I love all the good thinking I'm hearing. Excellent job. Go ahead and erase your board. Let's try one more, okay? All right. For this one, I went to a toy store. I love toys. Do you like toys? Oh, I love toys. I especially like electronic toys. So I walked into the store, and there were two huge robots standing right inside the door, and I was so excited because they looked super cool. And then as I turned the corner, I saw six little tiny robots. Man, I saw so many robots at that store. But how many robots did I see in the total? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you have an idea? Can you write a number sentence with the unknown in a box to show me how to figure out how many robots I saw together? Because I saw two to begin with and then six more. Press pause. You write a good number sentence and see if you can help me out. Okay, so are you ready? If not, press pause. All right, so I saw two robots to begin with, those two big ones. What should I write? Oh, yeah, the number two. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Two plus, what am I adding to the two? Yeah, the other part to my robots over here, the small ones. And there were six there. So two plus six equals, I have no idea. Did you figure it out? Eight? That's a lot of robots. No wonder I was so excited. Yeah, did you say six, seven, eight? Oh, I love saying that big number and then counting up the smaller number. It's so much easier than counting them all by themselves. All right, so six, seven, eight, perfect. So I saw eight robots. Man, oh man, you are so good. Thank you for helping me out, friend. Because our learning goal said I can put together parts to find an unknown total to eight. And that's exactly what we've been doing. We've been putting together parts to figure out our unknown total. Like how many owls did I see? How many dogs did I see? How many robots did I see? We didn't know it was a mystery, and we figured it out. Great job, friend. Now it's your turn to seesaw. I want you to send this on seesaw. I need some help. I had all these shoes in my closet. I had an uncozy shoe, and then I had a whole bunch of cozy shoes, my sneakers. Can you make a number sentence showing I had one uncozy shoe, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cozy shoes? So blank plus blank equals, and then I want to know how many shoes I have in all. Can you make sure to box that unknown so I know the total amount for sure without getting confused? Great. Thanks so much, friends. Good luck.